this is a poem. Whenever you get a poem, remember, read it and change it from verse to prose form, mentally. Most questions in that, earlier it used to be direct. Even if they ask us deeper meanings, remember, the deeper meanings are such that you can read and interpret from it and the wrong and you come to the right answer by elimination sometimes two options are very close but the advantage of a poem is you read it fast you read it at one fourth the time taken to read a passage and you still can get at least one or two questions right so you've not lost any time if you read and try to attempt a, a poem that's always my advice so let's quickly read this poem and then look at the questions. Do not read and uh, read between the lines during your first reading of the poem. Only if the question asks us for a deeper meaning would we say, yeah, could it mean this? Could it mean that? All right. Okay. The school bell is a call to battle. Every step to class, a step into the firing line. School bell is like a battle call. Every step you take towards the class seems to be like stepping into the firing line. Here is the target, fine skin at the temple, cheek rounded from being 15. So you're, we're talking of a 15 year old going to school. So she, he or she, it's obviously talking about a she later, you'll find out, is like a target. This is very firm, easy target. Surrendered, surrounded, she takes the bullet in the head. Okay, fine, I'm, I've joined, I've, I'm now part of the firing line, I'll take the bullet. And walks on, all right. The missile cuts a pathway in her mind. So what does the missile do? It doesn't destroy her. It cuts a pathway in her mind to an orchard, to this beautiful uh, place with flowers, in full bloom, flowers and fruits, in full bloom, a field humming under the sun. So the bullet, instead of having a destructive effect, has taken her to an orchard in full bloom, its lap open and full of poppies. This girl has won. What has she won? The right to be ordinary. Wear bangles to a wedding, paint her fingernails, go to school. Bullet, she says, you are stupid. You have failed. You cannot kill a book or the buzzing in it. Little girl going to school. Going to school is like battle, like stepping into the firing line. But she takes the bullet and then she tells the bullet, you are stupid. You can't kill a book. You can't kill the ideas that are in it. That's what she's saying. Now let's see what the questions are. Which of the conclusions follows from the last line of the excerpt? Bullet, she says, you're stupid. You failed. You can't kill a book or the buzzing in it. Which one? So you've read. She tells the bullet, you, you try to kill me. You can't because you can't kill a book. You can't kill the buzzing in it. So this is about the education of girls that are being targeted and this one says you can't win right something similar to that the person firing the bullet misfired unintentionally is it really a person firing a bullet is the poem actually about a girl taking a bullet surviving and saying this no the person firing the bullet felt sorry for the girl again he has taken the literal meaning we know it's not literal the memory of the girl killed by the bullet lives on forever. The girl is not dead, otherwise she wouldn't speak like that. So the girl has really, this is not about a girl really being physically shot. Well, at least not here. It might be about Malala who survived anyway. Might be, I'm saying. Not that. The lines are indicative of the indestructible will of the girl. Yes. You try whatever, but remember, you can't kill a book. You can't kill the buzzing in it. So we are only taking those lines. That's very good. The pen is mightier than the sword. Well, yeah, true, but, you know, in this context, it's, it is irrelevant. Therefore, the answer is D.